For millennia, our esteemed dynasty has served the Imperium of Man, bringing forth worlds from the darkness of the Void and into the light of holy terror. Yet I am but an instrument of his will, a sword in his hand. In his great wisdom, the Emperor bestowed a sacred mission upon his followers most true. And I, too, come the day I dread, will leave this mission to you, my heir. What will your fate be? One can only hope it will be better than mine. And welcome to another playthrough of Rogue Trader from 2023. I think that's from where it is at least. Uh, this is for Pioneer Steering Wheel. This is going to be my first beta testing of this game. I played the alpha previously on GOG, but somehow I managed to be able to choose Steam for the beta version. So hopefully, I will get to play it continually on Steam from now on. I hope at least, because I didn't get to choose the first time around. But this time, I got to do it. But anyways, we're going to start a new game. As I understand it, this time around we're going to start from the beginning of this game. Main story. Take up the mantle of a rogue trader, a scion of ancient dynasty of daring privateers that reign over their trade protectorate and explore the fringes of the known galaxy. Darkness looms over the bloodline of one Valancius as it faces multiple dangers from traitor amongst its ranks to the numerous emeries enemies seeking to destroy the most daring and brave agents of humanity. It is up to you to hold the reins of shattered protectorate and forge a new path of for the rogue trader dynasty that finds itself in a vortex of wars, intrigues, calamities and heresy. The stakes rise as you cross the paths of the most powerful adversaries and rivals that chase their own goals in the darkness of the Corona's expanse. Uh, okay, normal or core? I'm gonna go for normal. So, uh, let's see here. To create a new character. Adept or fighter. Marksman. Uh, since this is only the beta version, I don't think it's appropriate that I'm gonna be doing that. So I'm gonna go with the Hikata uh, or Darius Mega Bound Darkest Hour Charge. Uh, Bahardor we're gonna go with. Appearance. Oh, we can show different appearance. Oh, never mind. Let's go for a heck. This one, but... Uh, this is the appearance. Okay. <laughs> Uh, 
I think this one I like the most, implants. That I don't see anything. Macro cannons, volley! <laughs> Another clean strike. We can go for me because, uh, as I rem recall from the alpha version, is that uh, there were no voice acting, so it's gonna be cool if that's gonna be implemented here. But. Uh, But the weird thing is that I want to choose if it's going to be a female or a male because that's uh, appropriate. Alright, let's do a crane our own character. And uh, that one. Let's go for hair first of all. Uh, shall we go for the pompous or more? Let's go for this one. Hmm. And then we have the face. I'm not gonna lie, there are very few of the faces that I actually like. Most of them look like apes. We're gonna go for this one. Here. Oh, we can choose different eyebrows. Yeah, go for that. Uh, that's how you choose the... Uh, Alright. That looks like a male. Kachu. Beard. Let's see if we can f match that one. Yeah, I think that one matches. Do I have any more beards to choose between? Now oh, we're gonna go for the strong mush mustache. Von Malasia's uh, flagship. Uh, what should we call it? Uh, <laughs> the Tribute. <laughs> because it's not the best ship in the world. It's just a tribute. <laughs> Let's go for that. Works then. Uh, I don't know what to do with these, so let's go on. Ah, still no voice acting, that's a shame, really. Kunrad Voitgvir, an excellent place for contemplation. The man who has approached you gazing down on into the depths of the vast temple on one of the lower decks. One has the best... You are in dialogue. Here you can learn more about the current events of the game. Change the attitude of the interlo uh, inter... Locutor or decide the fate of entire planets. What will happen on, in this world depends on the lines you choose. You select reply, click and choose a sentence. Uh, LMB. Got it. One has the best view of the cathedral from here. Mesmerizing, wouldn't you say? Impeccable manifestation of the god emperor's sublimity. Uh, see, what type of character is? Am I going to be... Uh, 
Uh, I'm gonna be more positive, like my alpha character, so we're gonna be a truly awe-inspiring sight. Couldn't uh, demand not in satisfa satisfaction, as if your words have confirmed some thought he had. That is the purpose of all the temples to the God Emperor, to inspire awe and reverence, for it's the duty of his servants to persevere in de their tireless service until they are presented with a chance to give their very life for the master of humanity. He sighs and turns to you. Continue. Highlighted words in the dialogue pro detailed information about the world, events and game mechanics. Hoover over them to get additional information. This is the thing that could have been very good to know in the alpha stages that we did not get to know. Words are highlighted when they are first appear in the text. Scroll up in the dialogue box. With the mouse wheel to see. Oh, so I'm a bit tired. The side term highlighted in color again. I slept very badly uh, yesterday because of the heat in Sweden. Yeah, I should mention this. This is recorded in the summer of uh, 2023. It's probably going to be uploaded in the summer of 2023. Uh, it's very hot in Sweden right now. Uh, not as hot as it is in Asia or uh, Great Britain or some parts of uh, America, but it's still hot. And I have the afternoon sun boiling on my uh, apartment. So uh, it gets really hot in the afternoon and this is recorded in the afternoon as well. Wait, hold on. So, uh, so yeah, so I slept poorly yesterday, so that's, I'm a bit tired and it's gonna be very annoying when I'm reading these out loud. Uh, allow me to introduce myself, Kunrad Voitvir, Master of Whispers in the employ of her ladyship, Rogue Trader. Theodora von Valencius, at your service. I haven't had the pleasure of speaking with you in person before. Voitvir bows his head and focuses his attention on you. Uh, Uh, well, we're gonna go with this. Lieutenant General Hekata Scipio Grimald, commander of the 8th Army of the Sca Scra Scanfian Janissaries. My regards, Lieutenant General. The Astromilitarium is the hammer of the God Emperor. Isn't that what they say? Well, it is likely that the fate will give you ample opportunity to demonstrate your talents as commander. Void wears smiles faintly, but you are not sure it is directed at you. Continue. I will be frank with you. you, you may forget your family name no matter who gave it to you or that its origins are. From the moment you and the other candidate were brought aboard a void ship, your fate changed. You now serve Lord Captain Theodora von Valencius and carry the burden of an heir of his this house. Henceforth you will share your dynastic name with her ladyship, bear with honor. Lord Captain, a strange title for uh, the Lady Theodora. Such are the traditions of the Imperium. Lord Captains is the title that was established in the Annals of the Lex Imperialis, uh, Codex of the Imperium, Imperium Laws, at the time when we first uh, road traders entered at uh, the God Emperor's service and therefore is sacrosanct. Uh, why am I aboard this vessel? Why have I been brought here? So you may fulfill your blood duty, Hekata. I should have changed the name. Uh, whatever obligations you had before, they are henceforth null and void. By order of the Lord Captain, you have been requisitioned to serve the rogue trader in deeds blessed by the God Emperor. I see that you are shocked. Yes, you, you understand correctly. Lady Theodora of Forty indeed supersedes that of those whom you obeyed before. The Lord Captain's power is so great that she is capable of performing unthinkable feats such as changing the fate of a servant of the Imperium, your fate. Uh, you say I'm one of the rogue traders' heirs and there's another candidate. Voidware shrugs slightly, there are, and you will meet them soon enough. Uh, tell me about the one whose ship I found myself. 
I would rather not discuss the Lord Captain behind her back, especially not on board her ship. No one knows better than, than I that whispers are wont to attract particularly close attention. Voitver laughs and shakes his head. Suffice it say, to say that her ladyship is the bearer of the sacred warrant of trade. And a woman of immense power and entitlement. However privileged your position may be, I ask that you do not incur her to, by uh, her incur her in anger by disrespectful or obtuse. Lady Theodora despises both qualities. You have a curious title, Master of Whispers. What are your responsibilities? Well, he's supposed to be in Game of Thrones, but here you are instead. To put it plainly, I am the head of the network of spies and informers who uh, serve the interests of House Valencius. I uncover weak links both among the Lady Theodora's retinue and the ranks of her rivals. I eliminate our vulnerabilities and exploit those of others. I assume you had some goal in mind when you decided to seek me out. Let's address it. But of course, I've come to invite you to a meeting with Lady Theodora. I imagine you have many questions for your patroness. I, and I'm sure she just has many questions for you. Has as just as many questions for you. It is regrettable that you haven't yet had an opportunity to speak. It is the arduous voyage thus far. The Lord Captain and Master Edelfrad von Valencius are conversing on the observation platform located in one of the wings of the officer's deck. Let's join them there. I shall accompany you. And dialogue. Follow Conrad. The rogue trader Fedora von Valencius desires to personally meet with the person. Okay, uh, that didn't help much. Encyclopedia. Some objects in the game can be interfered in a special way. They are marked with specific icons. Some will uh, allow to study objects. Others will transfer the character of to neighboring locations or launch a small event. Click LMB uh, on the icon to perform the corresponding actions. Some in interactive objects such as doors or chests are not always marked with icons. Over over, if the image changes, the object is inter uh, interactable. Uh, okay. Victory awaits. Incomprehensible information displayed on a large screen about the cogitators you may. guests and I can read everything out loud you, you, you have to just pause the game and read for yourself because I my voice is gonna be very strained otherwise all right let's continue Master of Whispers, it's an emergency. The steam Lord Captain's. Uh, something has broken. Oh, that's a uh, Chimera. Annihilate them. Follow Conrad, kill the rogue trader's pets. Start the battle. Oh, 
Oh, it's another a Yanusian. What's it called? Laxarax. All battle in the game are turn based. On their turn, the characters can move, attack, and use their abilities. Select position within the selected area and double click. Uh, okay. Uh, determine how far a character can move their turn. One mouse MP correspond to one cell on the battlefield. Makes sense. Moving diagonally is more costly. Every second cell takes away two movement points. At the beginning of each turn, movement points are restored to their maximum value. The higher the character's agility, the character's is the more uh, movement point they get. Oh, you've already killed one of them. If you have action points after the shoot, you can use the abilities in the character don't have to attack. When you're ready to end your turn, press space. Okay, uh, pistol shots. Fortunate. I scarcely believe it on a day like this, but a suspiciously poor timing for such an accident. A wild beast breaks free on the officer's deck at exactly the moment when the rogue trader and her heirs are gathering here, without taking his eyes off the dead beast. Voidmare removes the Vox caster, caster from his belt and speaks a few quick orders into the device, then he turns to you. I have blocked all passages between the upper and lower sections sectors of the residential decks. If this is a deliberate attack, it should stop the culprits from advancing their plan. Talk to... That's some guardsmen, it looks like. The lines of Voigtbeer's forehead soften and his voice regains uh, its usual cour courtesy. I'm afraid I must remain here, Hikata, for Lady Fyodora's safety. I have to oversee the execution of these orders personally. I hope you will have no difficulty reaching the observation platform on your own. It is just the, uh, the end of the corridor. The Master Whispers gives you a curt bow. The journal records your current events, rumors, and uh, other assignments. To open the journal, press J. Journal entries uh, help keep the track of events and guide your characters on their adventure. The quests tab marks the progress of the main story and side quest. The rumors and orders sections contain additional information that may lead your character to new events. As the story progresses the, and the status of the current task changes, you will see a pop-up at the top of the main uh, screen. Okay. So, I, as I said earlier, I'm, uh, it's hot here in Sweden. I'm playing despite the fact of this because uh, the, the heatwave took a small break uh, and it's a little bit less hot today. But it's far from perfect. Another one who has died. Someone let it out then, I imagine. Follow my lead. We have lost many members here. As a servitor. I'm always ready. I'll lay claim to the stars. Let's see if we can find the the Theodora. I would have to say the the characters models they. 
they leave not much to be uh, desired if you get catch my drift. Ah, yeah, Mada. Edelfred, that's uh, simply irrational, Lady Theodora, says the man dressed in peculiar garb, his voice tight with tension, his face half of which is covered by sin skin, is twisted in a grimace uh, of displeasure and disbelief. Assimilation into the trade structure would be political and economic suicide, practically an admission of heresy. Theodora. The tall grey-haired woman pins here with her gaze, her cybernetic eye flashing crimson. Then suggest an alternative that will satisfy me. I have described the situation no worse than my seneschal could have done. Make a decision, what will you do with Aeon, Aeon 6, Edelfraud? Uh, survey the room. Your impression of Edelfrad, who appears to be about 30 years old, is of parchment-like skin stretched over a tightly bundled mass of sinew, implants and bone. The nervously twitching fingers and the face twisted by a slight tick and the jerky movements of all the signs of some illness or defect that has taken over his, phys his physical form. In stark contrast to Edelfraud, Theodora von Valencius' features appear as if they were carved from marble, eternal and instructable, indestructible. Head raised high, proud posture, hands clasped casually behind her back. Everything seems to emphasize the difference in status between her and Edelfraud. Behind the two of them you see two more men, one is a grey-haired officer of impeccable bearing who is studying the contents of his data slate, the other is a behemoth bristling with holsters and baldrics containing all manner of weapons. Theodora, our second candidate has joined us. The dry female voice and the powerful feeling of being watched force you to look at Theodora. The rogue trader is looking straight at you and her gaze, like herself, is predatory and oppressive. Hekata, approach and give me your answer. Character skills uh, reflect their current level of knowledge and abilities. Sometimes you can get additional information in dialogue if a passive skill check was successful. Skill checks use the character from the party with the highest value to, uh, to of applicable, applicable ability. Consider this hypothetical, uh, hypothetical situation. Ion 6, a new world on the fringes of the Corona's expanse, high seismic activity, regular magma eruptions, metamorphic rock de deposits, prospects of large-scale mining. The world is populated by natives who worship some heretical underworld spirits that protect those who offer them sacrifices. Flight of fancy, you might say. But attempt to install ore extractors have fa failed for the second time. The mining crews sent to the planet's surface simply vanished overnight. My question to you is, what would you do with the poisonous treasure? Because I know that the the Dark Elder is gonna have a huge presence in this game, I think I'm gonna go with this. Lore Cena succeeded. Those spirits could well be the natives of a name for a dangerous alias. I will first verify if that is indeed the case and if the population of Ion 6 engages in Cena worship. Fedora arcs Arcus an eyebrow. Reasonable and prudent. However, shation of the ethereal creatures may prove a rather long and fruit fruitless endeavor. Edelfrad scoffs. Apart from the Cenus, an untrodden planet might be teeming with a myriad of horrors that are far more dangerous and difficult to eradicate. I suspect that you, Hekata, are simply unaware of their existence.
I'm gonna be sassy. I gave a straight answer to a simple question, which, as I understand, was still more than you could do, Edelfrad. The color drains from Edelfrad's face, which distorts his features further. Insolent, ignorant upstart, how dare you! Edelfrad, Theodora's tone re uh, renders him silent. I believe I gave you an assignment on this ship. Explain to me then why my senior congregator is still dawdling about the officer's deck instead of proceeding to the middle decks to commence the inspection of the compartments in his purview. I beg your forgiveness, Lady Theodora. Your presence has such a profound effect on me that I will well forgot the time. Either Frost bows ceremoniously and takes his leave without sparing you another look. We made an enemy with evil fraud, I think. Theodora's gaze follows him as he leaves, then she turns to you. So, Hikata, why are you here? Uh... Was it not you who sent me? Theodora scoffs. You, you have seeded that the opening that was offered to you and displayed woeful weak meekness even for one of inferior rank. Admittedly, this affliction is equally strong in all who endured the existence in the grip of the Imperium. Immutable hierarchy or absolute obedience, lick spitterly, compulsion to please, forget all that. From the moment my envoys came to you, the old rules ceased to matter. My name is Theodora von Valencius Massimo of, of, of Scarus. She is from Scarus, then, I imagine. I am a rogue trader in the service of the God Emperor of Humanity, and my rights and freedoms are vindicated by most sacred relic, the Warrant of Trade. Kept aboard this very vessel, mine is the honor to venture into the darkness beyond the Imperium and carry humanity's light where powers wicked and heretical reign and bow death and ruin to us all. It is my decision alone to determine the fate of whatever I find past the bounds of the explored void. Every world I discover, along with all there is to find thereon, resources, people, riches and mis mysteries, is mine by right. I command millions of lives, rule over numerous planets and possess fortunes that no planetary governor or commander could dream of amassing. And you, Hekata, are one of those with the Von Valencia's blood in their veins and a rightful claim to this inheritance when the hour comes. Uh, I'm ready to take this sacred purpose. Oh yes, you would be, wouldn't you? The question is, am I ready to choose you over the rest? You came aboard hours before the warp jump and I have yet not not yet distinguished yourself in any way. As things currently stand, I have doubts that you are suitable for the role of rogue trader. Blood right alone is not enough to earn the high honor of becoming the bearer of the warrant of trade. Nonetheless, your abilities and talents may yet prove useful. If not for the role of Lord Captain, then that for that of their closest ally. Fyodora sigh and look away pen pensively for a brief moment. Alas, even those responsibilities can, at times, be too challenging for those who share their, your blood. Konrad Wojtwer served me for many years before he made his mistake. Uh, one off. Does that mean there are other heirs? Naturally, some have yet to arrive on board, but you have had the pleasure of meeting one of them. Either Fred may be somewhat disconcerted by the scale of my responsibilities that may potentially fall upon his shoulders. However, I have a good feeling about him as a candidate. If you're satisfied with Edelfraud, then what sense is there to having this conversation? Why are you wasting your time on me? Fedora shakes her head. Impatience. I am rather fond of impatient people. They are not quick to resign themselves to circumstance and more eager to show initiative. Even if I do choose Edelfrad as my successor, I will still require loyal advisors. The skill and knowledge you acquire 
acquired in your former life may, may prove invaluable here in the Corona's expanse. Service in the Astra Militarum is a trial from which very few people emerge with their, with their life. That you have risen through the ranks of the Imperial Guard and assumed command of an army is a testament to your astuteness both on the battlefield and the tangled net of officer, uh, net of officer intrigues. I assure you, the company that a rogue trader keeps will offer you plenty of chances to demonstrate both your diplomatic skills and combat proneness. Uh, did I hear it correctly? The Master of Whispers is related to you. His kinship to me is the most distant, as is yours. Nonetheless, he does bear the name von Valencius, even if he avoids using it publicly, as, it's, as such, stri strictly speaking, can be considered my heir. That door, however, is close to him. Voitsvere's performance in his current role is satisfactory, or at least, or used to be, at least. Thank you for clarifying. May I ask my questions now? The Vox affixed to Theodora's attire suddenly comes to life, but all you can hear is an unintelligible noise. Theodora winces, winces, shuts off the transmission and gives you an imperious nod. I have time before the navigator gives the signal to initiate the void ship translation out of the warp and my presence is required on the bridge. Uh, let's uh, start. start with it. An incident took place on the officer's deck. A wild beast was roaming free and attacking anyone it ran into. Is that so? I do keep a number of pets uh, native to one of my planets on the officer's deck. Perhaps someone was careless during feeding time, or it could be the warp playing tricks on us in spite, uh, this, uh, in spite of the Geller field. Or perhaps our possessed ship was in the mood for a lark. Fyodor uh, laughs nonchalantly. The grey-haired officer gives the rogue trader a look of cautious disapproval. Lady Fyodora, for the Emperor's uh, sake, surely you do not intend to start repeating either rumors spread about uh, uneducated riffraff. Enough, Abelard. Such hearsay amuses me. Idira uh, eagerly retells me everything she learns from the whispers of her unseen advisors. She turns to you. This ship is a thousand years old. It has enough hidden hook nooks, malfunctioning cogitators, and unused compartments to make ignorant uh, folk speak of spectres dwelling inside the bulkhead and plotting against those who yet live. Uh, where is your ship headed? The Rykad system, the domain of the rogue trader Winterscale, one of my peers or ri and rivals. Only three rogue traders exist in the Coronax Expanse and each of them possess resources comparable to mine. Perhaps you will one day assist House Van, F Van Balancius in surpassing both of them in affluence and splendor. I set the course for Rykad on the demand, Fyodora grimaces, she gives you a stern look, then shrugs. For a very specific reason, perhaps I shall yet apprise you of, of the purpose for this voyage, but now is not the time. Uh, what are my current responsibilities? Observe, learn, absorb. It will take time for you to find your bearings aboard this vessel and in his in your new position. Eventually I will start I will find a post that suits you as I did for Edelfrad. Until that time comes, consider uh, yourself my aid. Uh, navigator, translation, what are those things that you speak of? Theodora shakes her head. Sometimes I forget that people without direct access to the ship's bridge may not know of the first thing about how white ship travels between the stars. Vessels such as this one are capable of leaving real space and traversing into the warp, an otherworldly dimension of cruel and unthinkable forces. By entering it under the protection of the Geller field, we shorten the route to our destination, crossing distances that would require hundreds of years in a matter of weeks instead, sometimes in days or even hours. That is how humanity spread across the galaxy. That is how we are able to build the Imperium, which spans millions of stars. 
Gracious Lord Captain, surely there are ways I can prove myself as a worthy ear. Uh, ear. You can start by not asking questions of this sort. I have no need for psychophants. I will draw my conclusions when an opportunity to prove yourself arises. As for when you will grant it the opportunity, only the God Emperor knows. I have no more questions. In that case, I shall head to Fedora Vox Awakens once more. This time you'll pick up a uh, shouting. The Lord Captain freezes, listen to the Vox cast and nods and draws to her weapon. Disturbances reported on the adjacent decks. Seneschal, if the deck the, if the need arises, protect the new blood. She glances at you. It is possible that the chance to prove your worth may uh, present, present itself sooner than you may have anticipated. Get we get no we get renegades on deck. You have been ambushed. The battle begins. Kill them. That's one less to worry about. Oh, that's free. Mort. Heretic Cutthroat. Use cover to avoid enemy attacks. Cover is to hide behind our mark with a shield or a shield with a skull standing close to them. The character will automatically take an advantage uh, position. In this case, the chance that the enemy attacks will hit the cover and not the character behind them. Increases. The character will not receive a bonus if attacked from a non-covered side. Uh, okay. Let's see. I think the best, best thing to do would be... over here Not a problem for me Shoot him Damn it. Alright. Your character just landed a critical hit that deals increased damage equal to the character's critical damage stat. Character's critical damage defaults to 150% of their normal damage. However, certain talents, effects, and abilities can increase it. Each weapon has its own critical damage stat and will which is added to the character's total stat value during uh, attack. Got it. Suits my purposes. 
Fire! In a world full of deadly dangers, the help of allies can save your life. Look closer, your character has received temporary positive effect from the companion. To learn more about the effect, uh, hover over the small icon next to the character's portrait. Alright. Um bambalam. Took your sweet time. Pedora waves her hand in a commanding gesture. Mort, take a team with you and clear a path to the transport line. Do not let a single horse son survive. Rogue Trader turns her eyes to you. Didn't bat an eye when that scum burst onto the deck, hmm? Not bad. I have seen many an officer who panicked at the sight of combat on the upper decks. The false sense of security makes them that much more susceptible to the harsh realities of warp transitions. She looks at the vox in her hand. All you can hear is lifeless, lifeless static. What is happening? For, from what we have seen, Hikata, I can speculate that we are dealing with from some variety of warp madness. The Seneschal is astonishingly calm for someone who will just survive a sudden attack. Such episodes are not uncommon among Voidsmen who have found themselves uh, outside the boundaries of real space, though such episodes seldom spill onto the other decks. Fedora clicks her vox a few times. The casters are not working or have been sabotaged. Either the warp is toying with us or someone went to great lengths to cut the ship's communications. I will need a direct channel to the chief engine, engine seer before I can get a sense of what we're up against. Whatever it may be, keep your weapons at the ready. I imagine there will be some time before we no longer need them. How could there be armed people in the ranks of the crew who would dare to attack the Lord Captain? The Seneschal gives you a gloomy look. Trust me, Hekata, this is hardly surprising for a crew of thousands. The lower decks are fertile environment for discontent and heresy, no matter how one tries to incinerate any seed before it can take root. It all takes is a hint of warp influence to cloud the minds of normal, uh, obedient cattle. Sporadic riots on the lower decks are never, uh, never reach these compartments. Fedora anger causes the Seneschal to shrink slightly. No, the tumults of the rabble are always contained within their own territory. This is too well organized. It is spreading too rapidly. The incident with the beast on the officer's deck may be connected to what is transpiring now. Possibly, quite likely, Fedora winces and flicks the switch on her, on her vox a few times. We will investigate uh, at a later time. Right now we need to isolate the affected compartments and try to assess the situation. What are your orders? She breaks the eye contact with you. Mo Mort has gone ahead to clear a path for us. If you want to make yourself useful, go after him and see if the Arc Militant requires aid and be quick about it. Uh, the officer's deck is under attack. And then I get the time to read it. All right, uh, well, he rushed this way, so I think we're gonna go there. New challenge Okay, we can't go there. Let's go water more then.
shall stand in my way. All right, we can go there. Eh? I think more went this way. Conrad Voitweer. Conrad Voitweer lets out a sigh of relief upon seeing you. Thank Providence that you are alive and well. Always on time, eh, Conrad? The moment we finish chasing the riffraff around the deck, you show up. Always just after the fighting is done, you could set your krona by it. Oh, Mortis sitting. Sassy. Conrad pointedly looks away from the Archmantan to you. Mort, pull yourself together. The Archmantan looks back at you. What did the Lord Captain send you to shiv us along? We're all done here. I'll report right away. Mort pulls his box from his belt and hurriedly reports the, on the situation. Masters of Whispers, what is happening on my ship? The Voxnet is silent, the Vox Master is not responding, armed assailants have stormed the officer's deck, and my Arc Militant just destroyed several uh, more heretics on the way here. Is this a severe case of warp madness? Have some of my crew lost their minds and forgotten who they are and whom they serve? Report. I have not yet received word from the Engineerium regarding any Gellerfield failures. But communications were already unstable half an hour ago, and now they have ceased altogether. Whatever the cause may be, the consequences are spreading fast. I am receiving scattered reports from the middle decks, and the only vox cast from the lower base are one-way heretical gibberish. White bear pauses. That the madmen have already reached the officer's deck suggests that this outrage was planned in advance. Perhaps this is an organized mutiny. <coughs> Mutiny, but who would attempt a mutiny here in the warp? Lunatics, fools, heretics. This ship houses thousands upon, upon thousands of people. Pernicus, Foss and warp induced delusions could have tainted any of them. It is a difficult notion to accept, but such risks are inescapable. First we have to confirm that the bridge and the navigator's sanctum are secure. I have means to do both things at once. Her expression change, uh, changes as her eyes flash ominously. ominously. Fedora looks at Voitgvir. Idelfrad, where is he? I must know if he is unharmed. A psyker aboard the ship that is potentially being assailed by the warp could pose a great threat to himself and others that, than a whole army of madmen and improvised weapons. With improvised weapons. I tried to locate him, but the last thing known about his movements were is that he arrived on Transitional Deck 18. Blast it. Master of Whispers, find Edelfrad immediately. Seneschal, locate Tlas and, uh, and the Sister of Battle. Both are to remain at my side. Arc Militant, with me, I must go to my duty, it, and it appears that we might encounter heretics along the way. Hikata, Fedora glances at you thoughtfully. If I may, Lord Captain, Void where voices is soft and cautious. Transitional Deck 18 is at the heart of the disturbance, and if our goal is to bring Edelfrad back, I could use some support. After all, I am not an adept at directly confronting enemies of the house as the esteemed Arc Militant, and taking on into consideration Edelfrad's psychic powers. Why Lord Captain Then it's settled. Hikata, find Ilafrad and return here in any state. This elevator, so points at the massive doors, leads to the restricted compartments such as my personal chambers and the bridge. Do not let me down. I require you both. Do you understand? In any state, what does this mean? Uh, we are in the warp. Considering the attack, there could be a disruption in the Geller field and the infiltration of malevolent forces onto the decks. Psychers might react to this in the most unpredictable ways. Enough. You and ma you, Master of Whispers, must not allow my ear to turn into a mindless mutant and to perish from the enforcer's fire. 
do anything but bring me back Edelfrad. I shall do everything in my power. Fedora hisses in fury. Not everything in your power. You will do as I say. I will have your heads if you fail. Is that clear? Then move out. Mort, come. Voidgear gives you a nod. Are you ready to head to 18? It's a long walk and you do not even have proper gear. I shall make do. Lead the way. Of course you will. He rummages in his pockets for something. Lady Fyodor would never have someone she couldn't rely on as one of her heirs, but this is no longer relevant. With a pop and shark crankle, something hits you in the abdomen and you consumed an unbearable gut-wrenching pain. Oh, he betrayed me, that fricker. I, I should have known when I saw his uh, look there that he wasn't to be trusted. Careful, careful, be gentle with our guest. He is an important mission to complete during our visit to the Warren Chamber. And for that I need him breathing. Voitgear looks down at you. You're back with us, I see. Delightful. Voitgear, you two-faced scum. You're the one behind this mayhem. How perceptive, perceptive of you, Hekata. I will help you in the next insight. I need you here for your blood. You have the option to share it voluntarily or I will squeeze it out of you myself. We are the anteroom of the Warren Chamber, this void ship's most hallowed vault. There beyond those gates lies the relic that gives Feodora all her power, the secret warrant of trade. Only one obstacle remains on my path on to obtaining it. The gates of the chamber are guarded by the sentinel, an ancient device that will only open the door to a true heir of the dynasty. I expected it to do my, this part myself, but never mind. You will offer your blood to the sentinel. What is it, inbred? Is your blood too thin for the sentinel? On the contrary, the warp blessings has raised me too much above your kind, von Valencius. The sentinel refused to submit to me. But you can help, after all, isn't that what your family is for? I have... Uh, why are you doing this? Why? Because I'm following an order. What is happening on the ship right now has been in the making for a very long time. All that remains is to obtain my master sent me for, the warrant of trade. I have no intention of helping you. I'm afraid that you, Hecata von Valencius, have no choice in the matter. Voitvers produces a strange object, a blade without the handle that shimmers blue in the light. Try to resist and I will demonstrate the power of the, the warp holds over mortals. Come to figure it, I might even take some pleasure in doing it. To the void with you. Uh, your character skill uh, affect the results of their actions. A successful skill check can reveal new information, additional lines in the line in the dialogue, as well as influence further events. Check skills used to character from the party. Oh, got it. The blade flashes in the dim light, and drops of blood appear on your palm. For a moment, you feel nauseous. Your head is spinning. And then quiet whispers begin to flood your mind. More and more sourceless voice, voices echo each other, drowning out your own thoughts, replacing them with a singular urge. Go to the gate. Go to the gate. Go to the gate. 
go to the gates. Fight the voice in your head. Get out! I'm not your puppet. Willpower check succeeded. The voices in your head persist in their demands and yet you feel unseen chorus momentarily wa waver under the strength of your resolve until the intruding influence forces your, you to your feet and pushes you forward. The gates looming in the center of chamber gain 7 experience. In the gateway arc you see a cogitator with a human likeness built into the front panel. As you approach the torso switches slightly, this is a servitor, an obedient automaton created from a lobotomized human being. The sentinel turns its head to you, one of its eye sockets lighting up with the two amber-like irises. Uh, tech use, uh, examine the device. Tech fail, uh, use failed. You look over the cogitator, there is little chance that you will be able to discern anything about its design. Like any other sacred machine in the Imperium, this relic is a specialty to the machine cult of the Adeptus Mechanicus. The servitor on the gate begins to move. With the screeching and groaning of metal, it leans forward closer to you. It, its lower jaw opens with a draw out shriek, much wider than the jaw of a living human could. The servitor's mouth is filled with sharp metallic fangs that is that glint in the dim light. The wood screen on the right of you lights up showing strings of mysterious symbols on a green background. A whisper runs through your consciousness insisting demanding sacrifice. The voices that filled your head uh, after a void where wounded you with his blade it did not go away. On the contrary, the source coiled itself into a tight knot somewhere in the depths of your mind. Wait. Oh, then if we're go. Uh, examine. Uh, look for anything that could be used as a weapon. Look around in hopes of finding at least something that could work as a weapon. Your search is in vain. The chamber anteroom is completely empty in a, and in a perfect working condition. Nary a broken panel or a protruding piece of rebar in sight. Uh, examine the sentinel. The servitor looks noticeably different uh, from the ones you have used to. Copper thread uh, stitches its skin. Joints are replaced by metal hinges. It uh, seems that the creators of the sentinel did everything in the results of their work would serve much longer than ordinary working automatons. Look back. Did you forget something, Hikata? I suggest you hurry. Place your hand into the Sentinel's maw. The Sentinel's jaws uh, clamp around your hand, puncturing your skin and sinking into your flesh. A few dark drops fall into the servitor's throat. And immediately you hear a humming as the servo motors start up and pumps stir into motion. The windscreen in on of the cogitator flickers. Several long minutes pass. The sentinel rios remain closed and are beginning to feel stick. Perhaps you were in to lean against the gate. You could watch, uh, catch your breath. Maybe even close your eyes and pretend none of this uh, ever. Sight levels of cosmic humors. The subject is in state of heightened stress. Do you require assistance? You do not understand where this quiet voice is coming from, crackling like static. Is it the sentinel, the cogitator? Is it a figment of your weary mind? Whichever it is, you can clearly hear every word. Uh, yes, yes, I do require assistance. Pain shoot through your head and subsides just as quickly. It would seem the entity coiled in your consciousness does not have the ability to do you any real harm. Request accepted. Initiating defense protocol. Okay, uh, before we go in there, I think we're gonna end here. We have passed the one hour mark. 
Uh, so it's a good place as I need to end it. Uh, thank you much for watching this. See you around, everybody. Bye-bye.